Konnichiwa, everybody. Konnichiwa. Josuiji Shinri from Hollow Stars English Guild Tempest. Konnichiwa. I am again exhausted. <laughs> Hello, Chad. It's one of those days. Ah. <laughs> uh, Ah, give me just a moment, Jack. Give me just a moment, real quick. <sighs> there we go. Today is an EP day. It really is. It really is EP chat. Ah. So, chat, we have today in sound mind. I don't know what to expect from this, but I know that one scene with the mannequin, and that's about it. And then apparently there's a girl that you can only see um, through a mirror shard, and other than that, I have no idea. Went too hard with Subnautica. I want to get back to it. I want to build up a base, and then after I have like all of my basic needs set up, I want to go and start looking for lore, but in like a really big, heavy way. But yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, chat. We have a mannequin. Wait, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Um, apparently, this game, the way that I read up on it, was that it comes in different parts. So, good thing for us, we'll be able to pick like chapters one, two, three, so on and so forth, and finish those, and then pick up the rest of the chapters on another time. And I don't think it's supposed to be a like a smooth overarching story that goes like all the way across all the chapters. I think that's supposed to be like semi self-contained. Something like that. So we'll be picking up the game again here and there as we complete the rest of the chapters. But for now, chat, let us begin. Um, all of this should be fine. Uh, the settings. But if we need to adjust it, I put everything long on low again because it is. Oh no, don't tell me. <laughs> We're already beginning beginning with the crunchy. <sighs> okay, let's see. I don't understand why. I don't understand why. It is like the game is fine, and I am fine, but then the moment I tap into it, it... Oh. Here, I'll try this. And... Nope. Okay, we'll bring everything down to low. Oh, it was it was there for a while. How about now? I guess not. <laughs> uh, I think we might be PNG for this one today, chat. Uh, I can't turn anything else law lower. Okay, let's try that. Nope, does not work. Minimize it. Well, it's already minimized. I don't think I can go any lower than this. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I guess we'll switch over to PNG for now. The title of the video is cursed. Probably that's why it didn't like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me just a moment, chat. Let me... Let me see if I can get this working. And then... There we go. Yeah! So, I'll 
I'll bring myself down here for a little bit into this corner. And then we will away the model. Oh, oh wait, that was chat. <laughs> My bad. All right, here we go, chat. Do you know what this means though, Chad? This means we can go max out everything. Um, because I don't have a I don't have the, the model on screen though. Ultra apply changes. Oh wait, I make this full screen. Alright, there we go. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh no, are you <laughs> even the even the PNG? Really? Even the PNG, if I... Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, the mouse is smooth. Apply changes. Testing, one, two, three. No, even... Oh my god. Even the PNG. It's making chat freeze on the screen, too. Maybe this is just a very... There we go. Testing. Testing, testing. Every V blank. Every second V blank. There we go. A lot better. Wait, I wonder if the model works now with the v v sync on. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh, we gotta do every second V blank. Okay, okay. Wow. It was working fine, and then oh, I don't know why it's it's always V sync, but never in the way that I planned it. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go set everything up to ultra then. Volumetric fog. Extra streaming on. Apply. Okay, no, the fog is bad. The fog is too much. And the streaming is too much. Uh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Still a little crunchy. Bit better. Finally, okay, okay. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Sorry, Chad, for 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 all this. Uh, every second to be blank. There we go. All right, we're good. Enough dilly dally. Um, is the volume fine? You should hear like a gentle piano. It's like every third note of um, Claire de Lune. Let us go, Chad. We go, we go, we go, we go. Set game difficulty. We are here for the story, so I'm normal. Start. Playing tape. We create stuff. A game studio. Aww. Modus. Say, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> uh. I killed the cat. <gasps> curiosity only brought her to me. Everything all like flooded outside. You can see the water. Ooh. And that's actually very calming outside, you know? Okay. Alright, let's see. How does the game want us to interact? Well, actually, let me see if I can reduce the, the sensitivity real quick. Camera sensitivity. Uh, 
a little more. There we go. There we go. Oh, well, that makes it very convenient. Notice, catastrophe. Forget everything. Life as you've known it is now out the window. All indicators are indicating. Stay inside. <laughs> All indicators are indicating we stay inside. Collect and interact. Oh, we can't like pick it up. We can just interact with it. Chat. All the indicators are indicating. So, like an ab an abandoned oh, and like workshop, factory, facility. I don't know what kind of facility this is, but. I love how all the games have this kind of a jump and crunch obstacle tutorial section. <laughs> what is that? What? Can I pick something up to thread it? Danger. Whoa. like a funny acid. Ooh. I'm thinking the plus 100 in the corner is my help. Is my health. So let's see if it get damaged. Nice colors. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay, they do damage. They do damage. Oh my god, they do damage. <laughs> I think that that stuff over there might be a little bit too far out of my reach. Let's try it, let's try it. Yeah, too far, too far, too far. Okay, can't reach that. We're gonna have to find a way to break the planks first. Ah, this doesn't work. Ooh. Speed, stealth, stamina, health. Find oh, out what's going on. on. Too dark in here. Can't see anything. All right, too dark. Let us go explore, chat. I'm gonna go find a flashlight, and we have to find um, something to break those uh, wooden boards with. Hello. What was that? Did, did anyone else see? There was something like standing like right here be behind this pillar. Ooh. Oh, it's a really oh, hell up. I could probably break this with something. I like the main character's voice. I could probably break this with something. This will come in handy. This will come in handy. Oh no, chat, there's a little, there's a flashlight power timer, like a power total down here. Okay, let's try to conserve our battery a bit. That's new. Mary Alice, hello. Thank you for reaping the membership. <sighs> Hello. Ooh. Light doesn't do anything with it. Now I'm just seeing things, chat. It's a very small room, okay. Nice. Ooh, lots of things. Workbench is available to all tenants. No outside use allowed. 
I'm assuming we are part, maybe a tenant, probably. Management is not responsible for any injury you might inflict on yourself. Be safe. Please do not take any rules or t tools outside of this room. Okay. I can probably assemble something here. Ah, like a workbench for the game. There it is. Hallway key. Perfect. We started in the trash room and then we went up the service hallway. Now we're in the work room. So we gotta go back down to the storage. I guess I need to break with that. But we can also explore the elevator hallway. Is there a way to zoom? No. <gasps> Battery. Nice. Elevator, laundry, oiler, and maintenance. Maintenance vents, oh. Okay. Nice. Let's go check out the elevator hallway and then check out the boiler room and laundry rooms. Because I don't think we have the material right now to pry open those boards at the moment there. Wait, let me just... Chair's still there. Alright, let's go chat. No. Hallway key. Uh, select. Oh, we got a scroll wheel. The the inventory management's a little cumbersome. Ooh, <gasps> battery. Take that. I like how the battery just adds ten percent and not like uh, a full charge of the battery. Gas hazardous are leaked to your health. If you smell, see, or hear a gas leak coming from the boiler room, leave immediately and notify me. Mm. Okay, so we can't go there. Probably need to go through a maintenance shaft. So, let's carry on forward a bit more. Laundry room. Tenants, some of the washes have been short circuiting. Fortunately, fuses are universal. If they act up, please don't try to fix. What was that? Please don't try to fix it. Call me. That was a weird noise. Uh, fuse. Okay. Anything inside? No. They're just kind of going on their own. Average apartment, right? Battery, perfect. Ooh. Okay, let's go read the things outside first before we head into the into the shaft. Basement rules and regulations. Basement is open 24 hours for residents only. No guests allowed. Building's not responsible for anything left in your pockets. Workbench tools must remain at the workbench. Anything left and forgotten in the basement will still be left where you come back. Interesting. Osana, oh, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts and chat for the gifted memberships? Battery. a little dangerous. I don't want to go down there yet. Thank you, thank you. I might be able to cut this. You can just walk through it. The tape isn't that strong. Ah. You received a gift to membership. I hope you enjoyed the channel badge and the emotes. Alright. Let's head... Oh. <laughs> Nosy, ain't ya? So I guess we have to go through that way. Where is everybody? Okay. Oh, that, that. Is it safe? It's a fuse box. Get the regular fuse. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Friends of the Flame, thank you for the super chat. 
I stand these devs ever since I have like two mod nightmare house also worth streaming. Hope you enjoy the game. Thank you. It's very I like it. I like it a lot. Very atmospheric. If everything's like too snappy, in my opinion though, like moving forward is too fast. I wanna walk. Is there a way to walk? No, that's a sprint. Yeah. Oh. Nothing good awaits for you upstairs. If I were you, I'd get nice and comfortable down here. Oh. There's nothing to do here. Basement? Button for one is missing. This elevator button is for nothing. So we'll do number two for now. Huh. What? Wait, 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 wait. I could have sworn there was something there. Like right here, right here. Just a piece of furniture. Exit. Of course. Funny lights. Ooh. Cold drinks? <laughs> so cold it'll make you poop bricks. Nice. Oh, come on. This has got to be open at the very least. Ooh. Wait, hold up. Is that a cat? Oh, it's a cat. Whoa. What a way to do an intro. I thought you could interact with that, the, the O. Okay, hang on. Let's go back here and... Oh my god. It's worth a shot. <laughs> of course. Of course it wouldn't work. But oh my god, the tone. I love the tone. The three tones, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, Signalis has like completely forever ruin that sound effect for me so whenever I hear it I think it's not uh, I hear a signal now the sign is gone it looks like the entire place is flooded with more of whatever that liquid is people weren't able to get out of their cars in time because they're still driving there when it happened yeah okay Ooh. Your office. What? My office. There he is. Long have I waited for this moment to watch as you scramble for your last breath as you try to make sense of your reality and the gravity it carries. Pulling you down. <laughs> Ooh, I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> I will have you, Desmond Wales. I will have all of you. Okay, so our name's Desmond. I'm guessing we're the superintendent? Or the landlord? Okay, but why? Why are we here? Oh. It's my tape player. 
<clears throat> Tape player. Okay, let's see. The oh, we had a pet. Our pet was named... Tanya. Oh, oh! Uh, Tanya's a big wow. Tanya's a big boy, big girl, big girl. Oh my god, that's a big pauprit. Um, not a single picture of Desmond. Certificate of graduation, <laughs> diploma, but no, no name. Okay, let's go explore a bit. It looks like the entire town. I would call this a town, not like a city. Mm. I see some mining construction in the background over there. Maybe this was like a mining town and they like hit some kind of gas reservoir and the gas reservoir like exploded and just flooded the entire place. Maybe? Hmm. Wait. Hold up. Wait, what? There was a hallway right here. Right here, because we came out and saw the cat. Whoa. Don't do drugs, kids. That's a truck. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what's over here first. A little ominous. Your home. We're home already? Ooh. Don't need batteries yet. We'll leave them there for now. Meyer Pharmaceuticals, dear resident, we at Meyer Pharmaceuticals want to take the time to thank you for your continued support in our company. Your health and safety number, your health and safety are our number one concern, not just as a company but as neighbors too. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 stuff. For your information on what Meyer Pharmaceuticals is doing in your neighborhood, feel free to call one eight hundred Meyer or contact us with any comments. Thank you and have a blessed day. Community outreach, Meyer Pharmaceuticals, of course. Do you think the pharmaceuticals thing might be the stuff that's spilled? Hmm. Let me try. Is anybody even out there? Oh, a tape. A white cassette tape. Did I record this? I must have. Milton Haven Emergency Broadcast System. Emergency broadcast, so something did happen. Must have been like a spill or a leak. Yeah. No reflection. I wonder if we're dead. I wonder if, actually, no. I wonder if we're the cause of it all. Om nom 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 nom. Go back home, back to the apartment complex with this. Yeah, we don't have a reflection. Assume we'd be dead, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. Because the last, time, like almost every single time we see a game where the main character is a disembodied hand holding a flashlight, and they don't have a reflection, usually means they're always back. Let's go listen to a tape first. <gasps> Time for some music. Oh, I don't have a record. Guess not. <laughs> Sorry, Desmond. It's my tape player. Okay, wait. Let me go raise the volume a tad bit. 
Never mind. Let me go raise the volume a tad bit on Windows. Oh, no, now it's too loud. Oh, no, oh, no. Okay. Oh, what? Are the tapes how we travel through different points in time? Let's go. All right. Oh, we're listening to Desmond's tape. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so this isn't reality. This is somewhere inside. Ah. In an unexpected turn of events, it seems I'm the one who's losing my mind. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me. But as strange as this is, I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared. We're the one being driven by Matt? Why does he sound like he should not be the one? Surprising turn of events, I'm the one going mad. Is he a, are we a doctor? Maybe we're a doctor and we were recording something, some kind of symptoms of people, and then finding out that it's affecting us instead. Life in Milton Haven has become unfamiliar lately. People are... Well, I'm starting to see unusual patterns, behaviors. Ever since the crash, maybe. It's beginning to make sense, I suppose. My own feelings of dread, of fear, are similar to those of my patients. Ever since the crash. Similar to my patients, so it must be some kind of... Some external event took place, and it's affecting them all similarly. Which is why he's saying that, in the same way that my patients are going mad, I'm also going mad. Behaviors and changes are the same thing. So yeah, I think we are some kind of a doctor. I think I think maybe a ther like a therapist or a psychiatrist, not a physical doctor, but like a, a mental doctor. My patients were dropping like flies, dying. Oh, oh poor Virginia. I should go over their cases. I need to understand what this is. Yeah, I think it might be more like a psychiatrist, but what what is the crash? What what was that? The crash happened and then something Oh, what oh, a giant cassette tape player. Oh. I guess those are like lightning flashes. Used to treat people, now everyone's being driven to insanity. He can't help them. He can't even help himself. That's the big thing. It's also affect whatever happened is also affecting him. And he's referring to that one event as the crash. If I can get through this, if I can just keep my mind focused, I must stay aware. Awake. Alert. I must stay awake. Alert. Maybe it's something that happens if you fall asleep. You start to lose track of what's real and what's a hallucination. Which is why he's telling himself to stay awake and be alert. So that he can keep that lucid mind. Maybe? We, we need to figure out what that crash was. 
What was the crash? What did it unleash? I like the consistency. Playing tape. Oh. Oh. I mean, hi. Oh my god, Tanya's so cute. I'm having a weird day. Everything okay with you? All right. Everything is all good with Tanya. Good kitty. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> good kitty. Why doesn't it flash like you turning back on? Good kitty. Oh, this is it, Chad. This is the rest of the game. This is the rest of the game. We're just gonna pet Tanya. Good kitty. Good kitty. My flashlight keeps turning on afterwards. Already the best game ever, right? Oh, Tanya looks really cute. Nemo, hello, Quiddy. Thank you for giving the membership. Tanya. You took the elevator button? Oh, okay. Can we feed Tanya? I want to make sure Tanya has water and, and food. I wish that was part of the game that you can just like feed. Oh, he's really cute. Good kitty. Oh. Ah, <laughs> sorry for blinding you in the face. Wait a minute. Can't get up. But Huh. I'm sure that's nothing strange. The clock just needs fixing. A lot of things need fixing. Huh. Is it the same time? It is the same time. Oh, we're definitely dead, aren't we? We have to be. Okay, well. Let's go to floor one. Oh, it's a battery. Psychiatrist. I can sneak past it. I know I can. <gasps> what the hell is that? Ah. Uh. It's the ink blood. Oh my god! What the hell? Keep going. I think the pathing starts at the little door way. Oh. Ooh. It looks like it's made up of that similar, um, similar thing. Go left. I want to go left. Come on, come on, go around, go around. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Oh, what the heck? Heal battery. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
elevator button is missing. Wait, but the first floor was a place that we saw that other figure. Down here. Exit? Of course. Health, we don't need that yet. We'll save on to, we'll leave all the health items on the ground for now. Because I don't think there's a way to pick up health items and hold on to them. Battery, right, now we're good. Huh. What am I doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Ah, excuse me. We need to get some kind of scissors to cut these. But... floor? Oh, wait, before we go there, let's check out the rest of the floor. Does it help for Yeah. Okay, elevators here. And then... Apartments. Okay. Pointless. Yeah, we can't progress until we get something to cut these police lines with. Utility room. Ooh. Uh, storage room. There's gotta be something in here. Ooh. If you're reading this, it means I was right. In that case, slide. Second floor, above the vending machine. Barrel. First floor, maintenance room, taped under the table. Grip. Basement, behind the middle laundry machine. I got my back. You got my back, I got yours. What? L, who's L? Okay, so we're Desmond. But there's an L here who has put parts of a gun around. We're on the first floor, so we can at least go grab the barrel taped under the table. Okay. Taped under the table. Ooh. Help. Battery, battery. The fact that we don't, or I didn't, have not seen a single bullet is a little concerning. I'm pretty sure the gun is like a... Help points. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the gun is just a distraction. I don't think it really exists. Under the table. Yeah, we can't go, we can't get it until we get that knife. Or scissors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I didn't expect that. One of the rooms. Wait a minute. It wasn't a shadow here? One of the rooms is 18 plus. Maintenance room. Here we go, here we go. It's blocked from the other side. Locked on the other side. Is there... Oh. Nice. Barrel. Perfect. It's blocked from the other side. Okay. We got the gun, so let's go ahead and... It's blocked from the other side. This thing keeps changing. Oh, that's eerie. Tanya. I don't know what that is. Yeah. All right, let's head into whatever this room leads to and then flashbang. Ah. And then Virginia's apartment. with the red light. <gasps> Purple cassette tape over oh, recorded sessions with Virginia. Linen by Virginia. She cloaks the knife with pretty linen, presents it as a gift. She croaks the phrase, we pretty women, sending me away adrift. Her dreams are dead, so please take mine. I wonder how she sleeps at night. My dreams are nightmares stuck in time. 
a linen damaged by a knife. Oh, I wonder what that means. Who is the she that gave the knife to Virginia? The dresser mirror is broken. Hotel. Never lose hope hospital. Accounts payable. Uh, wrecked of Gemma rule. $108.75 for stitches, Virginia. Stitches? Do you think the stitches could be up to the night? Room one day, $28 a day. Operating room 60, drugs 10, supplies 10, total 100. Recommend Dr. Pinsky. Stitches. Oh. The heck? Don't stay in bed. Don't. Hey. Don't stay in bed. What happens if we stay in bed? I think the stitch is... A knife and linen? I wonder if it's like a commentary on like the peer pressure to like look, be, to like be pretty. So like get the... Get the knife and then like cut yourself to become pretty. Which is why that... Dress her window over the mirror would be broken because she didn't want to look at herself. And then ended up cutting herself and was sent to the hospital by Gemma? Her mother, perhaps? To our dearest customers, we're sad to inform you that we'll be closing the store at the end of the week. Unfortunately, we can no longer compete. can no longer compete with the larger supermarket chains that have laid their claim to our small town. Ah. We should thank you for your patronage and invite you to our going out of business sale this Thursday. Stay classy. Eden's Grove Grocery. Ah, oh, it's one of those. Man. Small town. Big corporation comes in. This is kind of cute. I like this one. I like this art. Look at the hair. Nothing. Another mirror shattered. All the mirrors are broken. Like, maybe she doesn't. Oh my god. Wait, what? Are the paintings changing? <sighs> the pictures are changing. No wonder. I was really confused. I was trying to use the paintings as some kind of a landmark, but no, they are changing. Dearest, I've, restored to, I've resorted to writing your letters because you won't answer the phone. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we brought you coming, brought you coming on. Is it broken? Oh, I'm surprised not to hear that. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we bought you coming on. Is it broken? Your father insisted that we send you money for the electric bill. Although I know, you know that I love you, and I will support you. I will not encourage you begging for us for money every other month. You need to find something more lucrative. Selling your toys is too niche. You were always such a personality. Maybe you could use that to your advantage somehow. Anyways, love, 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 and love. Please answer your phone. Mom, Dad, and Freddy. 
Virginia lived alone. Maybe she tried to make us, um, like, tried selling, like, dolls on Etsy, maybe? Like a small online shop? Battery, health, phone. Mm. No one is picking up. Mom, Dad, and Freddy. I think Freddy is just either a pet or um either a pet or some kind of, or like maybe sibling. Don't stay in bed. How do I get in there then? It looks like the dolls like staring at me. <laughs> go and pick up the younger sibling maybe it looks like it's doing the side eye thing that dogs do when you're looking at them why don't we head back to the hotel or the sorry uh, the apartments and then we'll try to put back the gun together and then uh, flashback and then maybe once we're done putting the gun together we'll know where to go next on the second floor above the vending machine is the pistol slide that's okay Second floor. Oh my god. It's unbearable, isn't it? The pain of losing a patient. Virginia trusted you when she died because of it. What will you achieve by listening to her tape? Vindication, absolution, retribution for your misdeeds. Think about it. Deeds. Oh, it's a bench now. Ah. Shut, shut up, red place, yeah. Alright. Vending machine at the top is the pistol slide. This is where the ink blot is, too, though, so let's be careful and see if we can avoid the ink blot once more. Vending machine above the vending machine is. Ah, <sighs> the pistol slide. Perfect. Last piece of the pistol is in the grip, located in the vent in the basement behind the middle vending machine. I wonder, maybe do you guys think Desmond may have experimented? Like in his efforts to try to figure out what was going on and how to take care of my patients, do you guys think he may have that sound that he may have tried something to see if he could help and then that attempt fast tonight increases your speed every three pills okay maybe that like ended up going bad it's a fuse box no luck oh I don't need a fuse box oh Ah, it's back there. We can do this one. This one seems pretty easy. Maybe the red voice is a guilty conscience, perhaps. Take the fuse out from there. And then let's head over here. Up. 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 And then toss the fuse inside here. <laughs> Just like doing a little shuffle because it's not completely, it's not properly fastened. Oh. Okay. Oh, pistol crib. Assemble the pistol. Okay. Uh, let's go and take it out. Before we head back though, why don't we go and fix the elevator once more? that you in box. there. And then now we're ready to take the elevator whenever we need to without having to like run and do all this whole thing. Time to head over to the workbench. Uh, 
and put that uh, this way. Put the gun together. I can probably assemble something here. Pistol slide and pistol grip. Nice. Oh my goodness, we actually do have bullets. Old and reliable. It's been a long time since I shot one of these. It's been a long time since I shot. I don't have to use this. How is it? <laughs> this is not iron sights. What? Okay. Ah. Do we? Do we shoot? I hope it's not shooting. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, that's how we do it. Nice. What is that? Bullets and detectonol. <laughs> Increases your stealth every two, three pills. Oh, look at that. Stealth one, speed one. Or a third, I should say. Alright. Now. Wait. Mm. The shooting the puddles is a, the puddle is a solution. It's a. Uh, the game must take place in America. Alright. Let us go and shoot barrels. Barrels. Okay, I don't see any barrels we can shoot here, but pretty sure. Wait, no, we can't go there. I can shoot this and break it open. Oh, what? Does it not register as a hit? No. It doesn't register. The bullet doesn't go through. This is a solid wall right here. This this entire thing. Oh man, this whole thing is a solid wall. You can't go through here. Okay, man. Gotta find the scissors. Hey, Vesper. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good morning stream. Alright, let's go ahead and break some of these open. Ooh. Endurement. Stamina. Everything pills. Alright. It's blocked from the other side. But now the question is, why did I need a gun? Why... Hmm. Fishing? Scary. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, good news. We are here for more scary games. I need something sharp. Ah. I don't think we have anything sharp, but. Wait. Chat. Do you guys remember the poem that Virginia wrote? A knife wrapped in linen? What if we listen to Virginia, Virginia's tape? What if we listen to Virginia's tape? And then, in there, we find the knife. Because in her poem, she mentioned that... Okay, let's go, let's go. can be killed by shooting them in the, in the face. Okay, wait, uh, battery? Nice. Alright. Tanya? Where's Tanya? 
No, Tanya. Mm. All right, let's listen to Virgi Back Virginia's day. Go. It's purple. Here we go. Let's see what's inside Virginia's tape. Ah, oh, it's really bright. Ah, not again. Put the gun away. Oh my god, we don't need the gun. Virginia's a patient. franchise comes in starts overturning everything change the dynamics of the community and everything there's another sign I think over here okay I can't get my food at Palma Mart I won't well what other options do we have uh, perhaps outside of Milton Haven. No, that's even further outside where I feel safe. It's further outside where I feel safe, so... I'm guessing she's been living here in this town her whole life and... doesn't want to leave. Chad, did you guys notice? That giant the giant player, uh, cassette tape player watch. I can't get my food spin. at Palma Mart. I won't. Other options do we have? Uh, perhaps outside of Milton Haven? No, that's even further outside where I feel safe. I guess just kind of hammering in the home that, hammering in the message in that this world here is really inside that tape. We're, we're inside it. Man. Where I feel safe? ever managed to get those small steps? Blah. But ultimately, Desmond did leave. He ultimately he did lose Virginia uh, as a patient. So what happened? specific thing because we haven't found any real like mention to it it honestly just seems like this fluid whatever it is is represent change like it just came in here and completely demolished whatever used to be here and it's just that change that seems to be what is causing so much pain for her
lying to you. Ah. Home of Marn. Oh. <laughs> Home of Marn. Welcome. Jenny proceeds to shoot a thing and die. Coins in the chat. We know his weakness. Bullets. Due to an earlier incident, Home of Marn is temporarily closed to the general public. We apologize for the inconvenience and will reopen soon. An earlier incident? I wonder what happened then. Oh, it's just a metal detector. It's not like... It doesn't actually record products. It's just my flashlight's the one... Oh, wait, no, sorry. I have a gun. That's why. Um, The gun is the one setting it off. Huh. Hmm. There's a couple of things. I'm I'm curious to know what the poem is for. It's a lock with a coin slot. It's <sighs> not. Quarter. We need a quarter. There's something in there inside that cart. I can't really make it out. But we need to get a few quarters for that. Yeah, the gun is made of metal. That's why it's setting up the metal detectors. Home oh, Mart. Oh. Wait, why would you have a door that's motion sensor detected that's that closes when you get close to it? What? <laughs> Is it me or do the doors know when I'm not looking? Call a door guy and have him fix ASAP. I'm out to my ass with paperwork because of this investigation. Anderson. Anderson must be like the owner of the... Wait. When I'm not looking? I'm not looking. Huh. Interesting. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. Honestly, the flashlight does not help all that much. <laughs> it's a very pretty purple. I love this purple. I want my entire room to be bathed in purple like this. Oh. Photo look. Oh, he's really cute. No dice. Oh, we need aquariums for that. Let's take pictures, chat. Photo o'clock. Oh, I remember going to those as like a with my, with the gang back in like high school. We have the lowest prices. We guarantee it. Shop smart and save up to two hundred dollars. Um, she needs to electronic. What about? Interesting. One year warranty. Alright. Cool. What a deal, right? I I might actually need to take them up on this because I have I have a broken monitor. I need to I need to get that fixed. Mm. Aisle one, aisle two. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. George or is it Ori? Okay. Pretty voice, yeah. Okay, so the entire map has these police lines do not cross. So I'm guessing we pick up whatever item we need in order to cut those here. Oh my god, not another one. Why would you have mannequins? 
for you, Inez. What happened? Claws? Claws? What? <gasps> I think I know why Jorge is missing the top of his head. Officers, for your safety, extra caution stepping on the yellow... Wait. For your safety, use extra caution stepping behind the yellow tape into the crime scene. There's plenty of grip, broken glass and sharp objects around. Okay. Uh... Serious? No. <laughs> Not mannequins first level. What the f Inez? like crawls up behind you and it's like um excuse me we were trying to reach you regarding your car's extended warranty oh uh, gosh dave dave was shot in the head Okay, they're not here to model clothes. We know that much. Do you know why? Because the name tag is on the bodies. If it was, if it, if they're modeling clothes, they would have a uniform, and then the name tags would be. The name tags would be on the uniforms, not the body. General section. You are Samantha. Hey, Samantha. There's an eerie feeling here since the incident. Something lingers. What's with all the mirrors everywhere? everywhere that's a good question Dave Dave you following me okay Samantha's still there okay Dave is gone <sighs> Man. if this was like a PC store and Dave was following me, I'd be like, I know more than you. Go away, Dave. But it's a grocery store. Where are your discounts? Blue things? 
Oh, it. <laughs> okay, battery, battery. We don't need health, but we don't need bullets. She can't stand the sight of herself. I don't blame her, but she needs to see the world for what it is. Help her reflect on this. Show her what she needs to see. That's a really cute picture. Okay, so... Mirrors. Okay, not not bad. Toy area. Electronic. <gasps> oh. Why are they purple? Oh, it's the it's this mirror that just shattered. Okay, okay. Maintenance. There are rats in the vent above the electronics exhibit. Explains the smell, but we can't open the exhibit until all the vents are cleared out as they are directly above the stage mirror. Please enter the vents via a compressor via the compressor room and the east wing and clear them. Anderson, son of a rats. Why is it always rats? Okay, fine. Gotta go get to the mirror above the electronics. Desmond, of all the things. Of all the things. Why did you... Hold the broken mirror up close. It sees more than you could ever, you ever could. Face the mirror, face your fears. Face the mirror, face your... Not my fault. Virginia, is that you? Are you the one who wrote that? Okay, let's see. Any more writing on the wall? Okay. Not my fault. Leave me alone. Oh, the locations where we have to go to linger a little bit. So. I don't like the pose that you're in. Do they... What? I'm a monster. My fault. <sighs> so we have to lure her here. Somehow. And then have her look at herself in the reflection? Oh? Don't look at me, I'm a monster. What happened to you, Virginia? Why? Oh? Hmm. Can you die in this game? It looks like you can because we have a health bar. Oh, oh my god. Who are <sighs> East Wing Key. Wait, why is she apologizing? Wait, no, I feel sad. No. What? Same thing. Oh, the metal detectors. Okay, okay. Oh my god, the pose is really eerie. Okay. 
Samantha, oh my god, it's so creepy. Oh, I hate mannequins so much. Oh my god. <gasps> no. <sighs> Damn it, Dave. Okay, okay. Um. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, run. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I can shoot her. I can shoot her and momentarily, like, stun her. If we accidentally set something off. It's an item scanner. It's no use. <gasps> oh. Okay. We need to find something that's worth 399. We need to find something that's 250. We need to find something that's five dollars. And then we need to find something that is four dollars. <clears throat> As a way of killing two birds with one coin, <laughs> two birds with one coin. Um, we're combining selling off our new postcard collection with our freshly minted Humble Mark coins. Customers spending specific amounts of money on postcards at checkout will receive one Humble Mark coin each. How's that for creative thinking? Individual sums are below. Postcards on sale. Oh, we gotta find postcards. Okay. okay. A single item can be scanned multiple times. Oh, we gotta do math. Okay. The door to the east wing is locked. Needs a key. I like this like narration kind of thing. It's really cool. Use the mirror shard to find important items and threats. Cool. Oh. It's like right behind us. Right here? Oh, it shimmers when there are items nearby. Like right down there, there's an item down there on the ground. Right? There is on the other side. Oh. Ah, so this is where the shimmer was for. What am I doing? The corporate upselling, that's the real horror there. Ow. Okay, let's pick that up for now. Can I break this? Oh, perfect. Okay, so I don't have to shoot this anymore. All right, before. Oh my god. Oh my god. Home on my postcard, two dollars. Sup, Dave? Can you help me find some postcards? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So those are the cash registers. I'm guessing the white are postcards because there's three more over there behind us. I think they may be in the general section. What's up, Dave? Okay, sweet. And then look. One, two, three. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh my god. Let me fight. <laughs> Let me hide. Oi, you're the one that's coming after me. Point Icarus postcard. Okay, we found two postcards. Uh, where are the other postcards? Sweep. And then... Oh, um, no, wait. We're looking for white postcards. White postcards. Okay, those are the mirrors. Is that it? 
behind us? Oh, they're through the wall. She does have a very pretty voice, though. Okay. Where is... Postcards, postcards, postcards. I don't see any more... Oh, wait. Blue? Foggy blue over here. It's going behind... This way? Here? Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> I can't see her. Whoa. What She's got the mole hacks. Oh, I need to use box for this, right? Yeah. Okay, we gotta be very careful. Not my fault. I'm all... Okay, so the question I want to know is what did... Oh, it's that direction. Okay. What did Virginia do? It's around here. Right? Uh... Oh, I see, I see. Is there one, two, three? Over there, over there. What? I didn't even look at. I didn't even look at her this time. Postcard. Okay, okay. One more postcard. One more postcard. Or are there multiple postcards behind us? That way. I feel kind of bad now for shooting. What? The wall wasn't here before. Sounds like a cornered animal. I think she's really just doesn't want to be harassed by those anymore. And by those, I mean like the just general people. Wait, uh oh. Okay, okay. So we're back at the front. The food section is closed. She needs a hug and a cup of tea. Yeah. Search for the postcards. Oh, there she is. Okay, don't look at her. Don't look at her. Don't look at her. Man. As long as we don't look at her, we should be fine, right? Ah. Okay, that still works. That still works. It still activates her. Oh no. Where are you coming from? <laughs> All right, this one is three ninety nine. We need to find something that's one cent. Two fifty, two fifty, uh, two fifty. It's the item scanner. Two fifty. So, home our postcard and the pharmaceutical postcard. Yeah, nice. She has me feeling some type of way and it's not fear. I don't think it's I don't think she saw me in the reflection. Oh, it's five dollars, okay. Um I think she can see if you it's are looking at her through the window or through the mirror, but otherwise four dollars we can do this one. Four dollars. Perfect. Now we take these coins over here. It's a lock with a coin slot. Home on mark coin. Whoa. Oh, it's just health. Oh my goodness. I thought it was something interesting, but no, it's just health. Photo booth time. Yeah, photo booth time. Wait, this one is backwards. Okay. 
What a boot time. What a boot time. Health is better than nothing. Well, at least, yeah, I suppose. But I thought it was going to be something more like a... It's a coin slot. Something exciting. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Ah. Oh my god, that was really bright. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Are you the one leaving us these messages? That's us? Yeah, I think. Okay, so that's Desmond. I like him. Look at he's a little jokester. Oh, dude. Oh. Stop. <laughs> he leaves us a little pill that specifically increases your stealth. What a. <laughs> I like him. I like him. Oh my god. That's cute. That's really sweet. Just like, hey, by the way, maybe next time be a bit more stealthy. Oh my god. She's so fast. Okay, let's go see... Wait, there's no more food here in this section, right? So I, there's no more health. I'm pretty sure I eat, ate all the health. Okay. Uh, fuse. Alright, what? We are... here. And now, since we got all the coins, we can head over through... The food section is closed off. So, down, through registers, up through the door into the compressor room and then maintenance shaft from the compressor room into electronics. So that's okay for a good plan. Let's go. Oh, she has such a nice voice. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh. <laughs> CCTV crap. Does he really have to keep an eye on us all the time? The control freak can probably see me writing this from his office right now. Maybe his former employee stole his registers, but we ain't about that. Right? Wait, are they... Are the mannequins all of the former employees here? Well, not, not former employees, not, not this former employees, but like... Is that Dave? Like... There was like former employees, and then now there's Dave, Samantha, Inez, and Jorge. Nothing. Mm. Ooh. A, there's a lot of bullets here. I don't think I need... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's one of those things. Wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're going to do a little shuffle. Okay. Wait, do we miss anything inside these rooms? Oh, we can't get to those yet. Okay. Come on. Well, that was easy. Oh, pipe rail. Nice. Okay. Um, maintenance, maintenance. Exit probably won't work. Of course not. Let's go try to find the maintenance shaft. Don't press. Oh, there it is. David, you fool. You forgot to punch a card in the machine again. Are you really that dumb? I slipped it in your locker again. Ines. Oh, I'd let them. Okay. 
compressor. It's a punch card reader. Worth oh. a try. Okay, we need to go find Dave's locker. Ooh. The power box is wired to the following rooms. Uh, wait, hold up. Offices, manager, CCTV, hallway, staff room, compressor room. Use each lever to toggle power in the corresponding room. Power is distributed from the left to the right. Warning, if there is an electrical malfunction in one of the rooms, the room to its right will not receive power until the malfunctioning is toggled off. Um... Okay, let's go check out the rooms again. The room that we were going to try to check out, these two, staff room and offices. They both have this power thing going on. So if we turn off the power to staff and... Staff and offices. Hello? Okay, okay. Um, offices and staff, one and four. One and four. <laughs> this is so eerie, chat. Okay. Staff and offices are closed, so we should be able to explore and see what's inside the rooms. Okay, power's out. The malfunction is gone. Samantha increases your stamina every few pills. Oh my god. I am conflicted. I'm conflicted, chat. Just a little bit. Anything else here? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> was that it? It was just a health or stamina boost? Oh. Pen and sticky notes. Bunch of sticky notes and pen. No idea what to do with it. Alright, we'll figure out what to do with that. Damn it, Samantha. Okay, so we got offices. Now let's check out the staff room. I'm bracing myself for a mannequin. It's a small coin slot. It swallowed the coin, but nothing happened. No, that's the true horror right there. Man. Okay, Dave's locker should be in here, right? Ooh. Dave's locker, Dave's locker. TF Volt, hello, thank you for the super chat. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, we, there's enough light here, we can turn the flashlight off. That's not ominous at all. It's a locked locker. Locked locker. No, not working. It doesn't say Dave on it though. I guess we need Dave's locker. Right? Not working. <gasps> oh my god, I hate man. <laughs> your locker oh, oh my god oh my god belongs to Dave <sighs> oh my god. how do I 
I get out? Can I get out? Oh no, now you're in the way. Oh, if he's in the way, that means he's gonna do something afterwards, right? Punch card. Someone's running late. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's actually really sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, thanks, dude. Oh. So they are, f they they are the employees. Oh my god. Hey, wait, wait, you're still there. <laughs> okay honestly though mannequins still kind of spooky dave pretty chill dave is pretty chill punch card reader it's on there we go okay let's go gotta get through the maintenance shaft to get to the electronics room looks like we may be able to mm, jump <gasps> yes Dave I'm aware I'm supposed <laughs> oh my god oh my god Lori 2 C's thank you for the super chat Yes, Dave, I know we're supposed to get into the shaft. The question is how. Okay, this does look like... No dice. Up there? How am I supposed to get up here first? It doesn't work. Dave. Okay. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, this is Jorge. Okay, this is Jorge. Uh, thanks, Jorge. Appreciate it. Okay, see, I'm I'm a bit more okay with this now because they're they're less like mannequins and more like people. The the way they turn is still eerie. Wait. I might be able to break this with something. Oh, cute. Okay. Bye, Jorge. Thank you for the help. Oh my god. Okay, nothing behind us. Oh? What is that? A rock. More rocks. Oh wait, are these supposed to be the rats?
Yeah, maybe they'll, maybe these mannequins aren't that bad. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh my god, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, what the hell? I misclicked in a shot, but... Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Okay, wait. Flashlight. Mirror. Gun. Okay. Okay. Mirror. <sighs> Cameron's? Oh. Traditional jump scare as a treat. Oh my god. Ooh. What's that? Oh, flashlight battery. Hey. Fuse box. We still need a fuse boxes. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could break those. I didn't know you could break these cameras. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Alright, let's keep going then. Ooh. It's a big TV. Wait, I can't see anything. Ooh, anything useful here? Ah, <gasps> HP. Numb. Okay, first of all... First of all... What the hell was that? And second... Numb. <laughs> what the hell? So this game is really good. I like how I like how it builds up the atmosphere. Ooh. Jorge, finish unpacking and neatly organize all the new Shinitsa TVs. See that nothing happens to the new Shinitsa XXL. It's our beautiful new crown jewel. Then turn everything on by the switch by the door. Make sure it's powered first. Anderson. I mean, I mean, it seems like normal. Uh, That is very eerie. What the hell? <sighs> That's really creepy. Okay, I gotta make sure it's powered first and then flip the switch to make sure all the TV comes on. I'm guessing she's going to pop out of here, like uh, Sadako style, and then we just run like this. And then we hide. And then she hits the mirror. So that should be pretty simple. Oh. Okay. Got the fuse. Let's go stick the fuse in here. It's a fuse box. I really like the narrative, like Direction. Alright. Now, we run. We have enough health that we can take a couple of hits. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
being judged, being watched, being looked at. These are the things she tried so hard to escape from. They always turned her eyes on her. Man, that's kind of sad. I don't perceive, and then they just make fun of her. And... Mm. They always turned her eye. Oh no, it's Virginia. They always turn their eyes to her. Ah, uh, no, this this is sad. Like she's she's trying to hide, and this is actively hurting her. Maybe. Maybe with this we can help. Yeah. I wish you could turn them off, yeah. Come on, come over here, Virginia. Okay, here, we'll just shoot her. Oh, wait, nope. Sorry for her. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Why would the world is the world is better off without the broken? They bring pain and they inflict their pain onto others. Are you broken as well? The paper is covered in with this weird, like the purple shimmering, iridescent coloring. I wonder if that's being left by that man in the yellow hat. I feel bad now. Bleh, chat. Okay, let's take the fuse. These are the things she tried so hard to escape from. They always turn their eyes on her. I don't know who the, the person that yellow hat is. The, the monkey? No, not the monkey. Uh, the... The one who gave us the bunny ears. Ooh. I need a coin. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a little bear. Okay, we gotta get the we gotta get a coin. Ooh. Mom was making dinner in the free or mom was making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. By the fire, dad would sleep away. I stuffed him in the in the loading bay. In the attic, he had the courage. Now my brother hides in storage. Me, I'm fine, I'm good. Then crash. Since I'm bad, I'm lifeless trash. Why? Oh my god. It's a small rounded slot. Oh jeez. All right then. Staff, most of the new toys were lost in the crash. The crash again. Most of the toys were lost in the crash. I'm keeping this area sealed and covered until we get a new collection. Don't go in there. It's currently being used as storage, unopened boxes and mirrors, and honestly, creepy bad vibes in there. I might be able to break this with something. The, yeah, the crash again. You already read this one. All right, so unlock and get the toys area. Four dolls left. Lure the mirror. Lure the watcher into two mirrors. Collect all the pills in Homa Mart. Let's go collect a few more pills and a few. I'm guessing those are the pills over there. I wonder if there's any that we missed in this section here. Right here. It's blocked from the other side. Okay. 
Nothing inside the doll, but it looks like there's a few that we missed inside this area. to do a sweep to reveal everything first. Oh, it's behind that wall. I think we're done with mannequins, maybe. It's still the store, so I wouldn't be surprised if they showed up. If the employees did. Alright, let's go. Ugh, okay, go the other way. Alright, let's head into the main general store area and then start looking for some things. Huh. Okay, and then I see a few mirrors on the ground. Ooh, what's that red thing over there? Okay, let's go. Oh, the singing is really pretty, though. Oh, the lights react to her. Cool. Okay. We're not gonna look at her box. <gasps> oh my god. Jorge, thank you for the help earlier, but oh my god. Bruh. Oh my god. Okay. I... Chad, do you guys see, um... Jorge right here, right? If I move his, my mouse over to the head area, like right here, it gives me the option to interact. I think we can go find Jorge's head. He helped us with that segment um, in the maintenance chat, so let's see if we can help Jorge find... Ooh! Let's see if we can find Jorge's head. Oh wait, this one's gonna be easy. Come on, come on. Easy. One more mirror left. West wing maintenance key. Okay. Oh my god. Samantha. Damn it, Samantha. <laughs> Desmond is probably eating super, super old expired food. And it's 15. Me too. Damn it, Samantha. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> Health? Bullets. Okay, we'll always take bullets. 10 health. There's a total of like... Oh, there's a total of like 40 health here in this segment. Ooh. Elysium State Park postcard? Oh, hey, Altair. Let's go on a field trip to Elysium State Park. Let's go. I want to go to the Elysium State Park. Wait, hold up. Can I just say, every single time we hit this stuff and it goes beep and she goes, huh? The huh that she makes is... It's really cute. The way she says huh is really cute. I don't know why. Watch. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> Inez. Okay, Inez is the one with the scratches. Inez is the one. Oh. Dave. Dave is the one with the head. With the hole in the head. Oh my god, my heart. Okay. Turn around. Go through. Cash register. Last one, last one. Last one, last one, registers, registers. Uh, gun first. Okay, this is the one right here. It's the item scanner. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, it's 399. Okay. 
199 an and then two dollars Nice. All right, let's head back over all the way to the electronic section. And then we'll get whatever thing is inside that coin. Okay, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Go through here. Go through here. Loop around. And through the food section. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me hide. Okay, coin. Ignition key. What? Ignition key? Oh, it doesn't grab the bear, it just grabs the- Oh man. Okay. It's blocked from the other side. Ignition key for like a car? Question mark? Oh, sorry. You you spawned in front of me, that was your fault. <laughs> Oh man, okay. Ignition key, ignition key. What would the ignition key be for? Ooh. Okay. Wait, but before we go, I want to find Jorge's head. Let's heal up real quick. Oh. Oh. Uh, health? We can take that. Battery? Perfect. here. Maintenance West Wing. The door to the West Wing is locked. There's a keyhole. God, I want to know who this voice actor is. This voice is really nice. Ooh, battery. We'll take that. <gasps> well, I guess we gotta go figure out the... Ooh. I don't know why I keep picking those up. Oh, this is the back the back room where you like uh stock the, the front facing freezers. Ammo? I don't know. Upon arrival of the scene, the suspect had already a self inflicted stab wound to her abdomen and a fatal wound across her neck. Oh jeez. Paramedics were called the police tape was used to seal off the crime scene for investigation. Suspect was identified as Virginia Rule, who apparently had issues being seen in public and or seeing her own reflection. No. Oh my god. I'm guessing she went. That's why she went to go see Desmond. Is that guy? Why? What the hell? The guy's yeah is super rude. What the hell? Okay, where's the? Oh, there it is. There it is. What? What? Weather doll. It's her brother. Wait, stop. Okay, this is not so terrifying. This is just what my night shift was like when I worked retail or at the st whatever. Oh my god, stop. You know what? Fine, you guys have fun. Every single night, I had to do closing and then I had to go pick up all the carts from the parking lot. But people just leave them all over the place because they don't know how to return a cart. Every single night, every single damn night. Ooh. Okay, we'll take that one. Leave the other one there. Maintenance closets. 
that we gotta go up there. Up here. Ah, oh, okay. Up, 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 up. And then, let's go. It's so easy to put them in, right? There's like a big sign that says cart return here, and then you go and you return your cart there. It's not that hard. Ooh. Bullets. We're full on health. We don't really need those. Oh, stamina plus one. Yeah. People are lazy. The thing that I hate the most are when people put their carts just in the parking spot. Like, it's already bad enough trying to find parking. And then they go and shove a cart in there. And it's like, wow, things for now. <gasps> You are the one. Okay, never mind. The comment I said about how I thought he was cute for uh, for doing the bunny ears and photobombing us, I take that back. That guy's a dick bag. It's her mom. Oh jeez, uh oh. I found a way out. Hey, uh, Dave, can you help out? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Wait, can I shoot it? <gasps> no way, I'll lose my head. Can't break that. On this side, on this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. Uh power off. Oh. Oh that's Ines, that's Ines. <sighs> Thanks, Naz. <sighs> Inez MVP. know what the relationship is between those employees and and the that mysterious person did, did that mysterious person the one with the hat locked from the other side like turn the employees into that sit tight just hang out a little bit and see if it comes back and in the meantime do, 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 do. I oh no it was going so well So I'll just go and see if I can order some some food because I don't think I'll have time to make anything and that way I can munch food and get ready for 6 p.m. Do, do, do. Sandwich sounds nice. Maybe a sandwich? Do you want to get sandwiches? I want to get a sandwich. Yeah, let's get a sandwich. Are you back? <gasps> hey everybody. Yeah, I'm ordering food right now, um, because I don't know, I'll, I'll probably keep playing this for a while, um, and I don't know if I'll have time to make food, um, I wanna get a sandwich. Could you just get a Subway? <laughs> I think that'd be the most affordable one. Close by, too, I think. Uh, alright, let's go back here. Enjoy the ambiance while I order a sandwich real quick. Subway. Maybe a subway? 
Do I want a subway? Do I want a subway, Chad? I don't know if I want a subway. Can you get me one too? What would you like? You know what? No, let's not get subway. Let's get um, local, local chain. Because local chain is better than subway. And I'm not going to say the name of the local chain because there's like only four of them here. <laughs> Um, honey mustard, the chicken, turkey, yellow bar. Ooh, habanero barbecue sauce. Do that. Yeah, we'll do local. We'll do local. Uh, always Dutch crunch. Everything. Uh, onions, pickles, banana peppers, and jalapenos. All of it. And then I want it with. We'll do less mayo because it does come with the habanero sauce. And then... We don't need a drink. I can just drink water. Water will be fine. <laughs> oh my god. Support local businesses always. Yay, chat. And then make sure we give a proper amount for Dasher Dip. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna place the order right now. Okay, we're gonna go into like five, and then uh, we'll take a quick break. I'm gonna go eat lunch, and then we'll get ready for six because we had dredge after this. But yeah, let's go, chat. <sighs> okay. Um, I want to know what the mannequin people looked like before they became mannequins, because we know that they were actual employees. Yo, if the gate keeps getting stuck shut, there has to be some sort of electrical malfunction. Like, come on, chat. Dave. Dave writes a note. He starts the note with yo. It's a, it's not like you go to your friends and you're like, yo, right? He literally write, he wrote the word yo in the note. He seems like a really cool guy to hang out with, you know? Like, who writes yo at, on a memo like this unless you're such a chill guy? Dave is cool. Yeah, I, I want to know. I want to meet all of the four employees before they became mannequins. Because I think they seem really chill. They seem really cool. The gate keeps getting stuck shut. It has to be some sort of electrical malfunction. In any case, do you remember the forklift trick? Look, he even teaches you how to do forklift tricks. Just do that. Oh, cute. I want to know. Okay, what's the... What's the forklift trick that- Oh, So that... Dave is forklift certified, yeah. Okay, let's go scoop all this stuff real quick. Can't. Full. Wait, let's- uh, Let's break it. Okay. So that's what the igni- Oh. So that's what the ignition key is for. It's for the forklift. It's the ignition key lock. Perfect. Um, do I have to drive it? Goodness. Oh my goodness, that was so fast. I've never seen a forklift go that fast before. Oh my god. It. 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 Is that safe? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I get on top? Can I get on top? Before we go that way, welcome to the load zone. What is that? Increases your oh fast speed. Woo! Somebody get a mop and maybe a better therapist. 
Wow. Oh, that piece of shit. Oh my god. Dude, I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy at all. What the hell? Wait a minute. Can I? No. I thought I saw the. I thought I, I see these cracks. I thought I could like break it. Man, screw that guy. This would be the equivalent of like, um, like if you're a dentist, and then, like the people that you're trying to see are like eating lots of candy. Like maybe you're one. Maybe one of your patients is a small uh, kid who just really likes candy. Um, and then just making fun, like, oh, why do your patients keep getting cavities? You must be a shitty, you must be a shitty dentist. Like, no, one of my patients is a kid and they just love eating candy. I'm here to make sure that it doesn't hurt, but you know, like, I'm not there to control their lives. And do the best that you can, but if it's still, the heck? Oh jeez, it's a maze. Oh, it's a maze of baddies. What? What? Oh. <laughs> Too much health, I'm scared. I'm extremely healthy. I'm like the healthiest therapist. Let's keep going around. I think we might be stuck. It's her dad. You are my dad. I'm your dad. Wookie, wookie, wookie. Okay, let's keep going then. I guess we go through the maze at this point. Ooh. We can go that way? No, we can go. Oh, I want to explore the red light. Toxic edition, hello. Thank you so much for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Trash room. Home. Can we get some hearts in chat for toxic addiction and the... It's her. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> How dramatic. She did call herself trash. I don't know why you're so surprised. Who is that guy? Why is he such a jerk to everything? This way. What the hell? Oh? Is... Wait, this is new? This gate wasn't open before, was it? Dead at the scene. Ah, oh, finally we'll take this what first. What was it you wrote in her file? Patient was encouraged to establish routine errands that would put her outside. Wow. No wonder her mother blames you. What the? Wow. Seriously? She was pronounced dead at the scene. Taking statements from co-workers and shoppers, it seems that Miss Rule had a panic attack which resulted in the accidental breaking of a mirror. Due to the mishandling of the situation by the people around her at the time, a quick escalation resulted in Miss Rule taking her own life using a shard of broken mirror glass. No evidence of foul play though, I suspect she may have been in relations with the staff member named David. We'll go back for questioning. Notify Mr. Rule. 2323 Camden Avenue South. 7 p.m. Relation to victim mother. Reporting officer Leslie Rubin. She was with David? Is that why Dave is helping us? Because he wants us to... Because... 
Does Dave know that we're... We're her therapist? Is that why he's helping us? That's gotta be why, because he, he was with her, and... Because, like, she must... They, Dave must have known that she was going to therapy, right? And with... You! Oh my god. So that's the weird, creepy thing that's skittering around. <sighs> Loading break. Let's go open this door. I know we don't need to go back here anymore, but just have it open. Officer suspects maybe not be great. Who knows, though, because... Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Dave seems like a pretty chill guy, so... Possibly. Alright, so we have to go over to the toy section, and then... After we get to the toy section, put the dolls in the right place. Find all the pills in Home Mart. There's five pills left. I haven't seen really where they could be. Hmm... I really hope... Why is Rory's head missing? I don't know. Let's do another quick check and see if we've missed anything here. No... Oh, the shopping carts are... The shopping carts are having a time together. Okay, we'll, we'll, leave, them, we'll leave them alone so they, they can do their own thing. <laughs> We're full on health right now, and we have plenty of battery power so far. Is she here? Oh! Oh my god. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, why? You attacked me first. Okay, let's go heal up real quick. Where's my... There's a 15 health thing here that I left. On... Hey, Ore. We're looking for your head. We'll get we'll get you your head soon. 10. Numb. Numb. I wonder if we can break this. Can we? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. Okay. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Wait, hold up. The mirror shows, right? So... One mirror over there, where the toy section is. Broken mirror. In the department right behind us, there's two objects over there. And she's also kind of just dancing over there, too. So let's head backwards behind us. This way. Over here. Through this segment. What? What? Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> I need some open space. Whoa. This behind us, right here, is inside the building. Okay, it's inside this building. Let's go. Can we get in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Through here. Manager room. Ooh. Okay. Milton Haven Sheriff Department Incident Report. Report 1997. 1600 Main Street, Crocus Avenue. Location Hallmark. Point of contact is Mr. Anderson Parker, the store owner. Hmm. Victim, Miss Virginia Rule. Pedigree, female 25. 25 years old, that's so young. 
On Wednesday afternoon, the sheriff's department received a call from Mr. Anderson Parker, manager at Hallmark, Hallmark department store, about a distraught woman screaming and breaking various items in the store. Dispatch sent the call. Man. busy looking at her scars? Was she already um, going like self-harming when when we met? Thank the Lord for the CCTV. Not only can I catch shoplifters in the act, but now thanks to my crafty intellect, I will never forget the code to my safe for it is embedded, hidden away through the lens of a security camera. Great work, Anderson. Great work. Oh, guessing. That's the safe over there. Okay, so what is hidden away? Switch to next camera. That was it? Oh, there she is. Ah, the flashing. I see that she's holding up a mask. Did you guys see that? She's holding a mask. Alright. I hope you guys caught it. Four. One. Five. Two. Oh, I had to clip it. I had to select it. Four, one, five, two, yeah, fast and I, endurement, oh that's a lot of stuff, detecting a, ooh, it's everything, nice, let's go, so four of those five were all located here, for the chat, if you guys don't know where it is, um, in the middle of there it says four, Top in the corner it says aisle one. Section right behind my head. I'm sorry, I was blocking it. It was right there, but yeah, let me move. It says five right there. <laughs> I guess that's a little bit cheating because I was blocking it and there was no way for you to have seen it. And then aisle two down there at the bottom. So that's how you know what the combinations are. I cheated and I blocked blocked the third number for you guys. <laughs> Alright. There's one more pill. And I think we may be able to find it after we go put all the toys away. Where's the toy section again? It's by electronics, isn't it? Hello, Inez. Thank you earlier for the help. Oh. Wait, I can also interact with your head too, Ines. <gasps> Ines, what are you missing? Food section. Ah, here we go, toys. Twirls hair. Hey, Ines. Mom was making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. Oh my god. Mom was making dinner. But now she's in the freezer. Where's the kitchen? It's a small rounded slot. Mom was in making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. By f by fire, Dad would sleep all day. I stuffed him in the loading bay. By the fire, Dad would sleep all day, but then I stuffed him in the loading bay, which would be. This one, right? The garage? In the attic, he had courage. Now my brother hides in storage. Storage would be... Back here? 
No, this kind of looks like uh, storage. Storage? Upstairs in the attic, right? This is where you would store things, right? And then me, I'm fine since I'm good. Wait a minute. Mom was making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. She was making dinner in the house, but we found the doll inside the freezer. By the fire, Dad would sleep. I stuffed him in the loading bay. So Dad's not... The loading bay would be where we found it. Dad is sleeping by the fire. In the attic, he had courage. But we found the brother's doll in storage. Okay, so the brother does go in the attic. And then finally... I'm good, then crash. Since I'm bad, I'm lifeless, trash. We found the doll in the trash. What would they mean by... The crash? That was the day. She pulled the mirror off its hinges, putting on her mother's makeup. The taste of blood and lipstick stayed in her mouth until the very end. It's the toy area, man. T-block. Oh my god. I will say, if this is how a store sold their toys, I would love it. Battery? I think both batteries. I love it a little less. We should not get lost. Okay, we'll do perimeter sleep first. Perimeter. Battery? H, T, H. Outside, outside. Uh. T, H, E? Wait, do the other balloons have... Woo! T, H, E. Are you? Oh, that is, e that is eerie. <gasps> That's very eerie. T H E. T H E. D. T-H-E-D D-E-A T-E-H-E-A Is there gonna be a- Oh my god, I swear It's gone T-H-E A-D Dead? The dead? The the dad. D E T A H. Hated. Hated. Oh. Put something in here. The mirror. Hated. This seems correct, but. Something with the reflection is wrong. Something with the reflection is wrong. Oh, the A is... Hmm? This seems correct, but something with the reflection is wrong. What? 
They're, they're like right side. Something with the reflection is wrong. Is it the other way around? Maybe you spell it right side on our end. I can put something in here. This might be the last one. Virginia, you here? Or here? Ooh! What? Someone as selfish as you would try to take that away from her. I'm glad to see you failed. What the hell? What the hell? <gasps> Wait, is that Virginia? something like this without some sort of outside influence. I promise you, Miss Rule, I'll get to the bottom of this. It's that guy, isn't it? The guy in the yellow with the bleeding mouth. He's the one that's messing all this up, isn't it? And then mocking us and making fun of us for that. There's one pill left in Hallmark, but I don't think it's... I think it's fine. I don't think we'll need it for now. Let's go home. Back outside again. Red voice is and why he's tormenting Jasmine like this because we can hear that he's trying you know when I was a kid my mom she used to sign me up for like little miss whatever the hell you know like these beauty pageants for this one I was practicing at home and I was in the bathroom just playing with like some of my mom's makeup and and then I sorry take your time so 
the crash when the mirror fell, she, that wasn't even intentional, that was an accident. missing parts of the face of my represented traumatic events for Virginia yeah I can yeah I can understand going to school because you still need that education you still need to socialize with like with your friends and your peers and all that but going to pageants and forcing you out to be like on stage couldn't she rest a bit from the stitches yeah Let's go revisit her home. Now that we have the glass or the sharp objects like cut. Because there was a tape. There was a police tape in in her home. Oh. Wait, no. Go back. Well, let's go back. Wait, no. Can't go back? Still see. Oh. Oh. Oh, you still see stuff downstairs. More of that mysterious, like, smoke around here, too. This is our patient report on patient name Virginia Rule, age 25, personality disorder NOS, trauma from past injury. Patient began treatment as mandated disciplinary measure in college. Roommates expressed concern, possible suicidal ideation. Patient would hide in her room for fear of judgment over her personal appearance. As a child, patient was entered into pageants by her mother, Gemma Rule during which time she suffered verbal abuse relating to her appearance and performance. An accident took place in which the bathroom mirror collapsed in six-year-old Virginia, leaving her scarred, ending pageant participation. Nineteen years. The scars first happened at six years old. Patient suffers from the constant notion of judgment from others, stemming from pageant participation compounded with the accident which resulted in facial disfigurement and unsupportive home environment. Patient internalized this to an extreme degree, retaining a strong aversion to public spaces for fear of being judged. 
Mason will look embarrassed, often lashing out in anger at those who perceives her, or who she perceives as judging her. Mason was encouraged to establish routine errands that would put her outside when her local grocery closed. Ah, oh, so that's why. When her local grocery store closed down thanks to retail competition from the Homa Mart Superstore, Patient had to alter her routine by picking up food in a much more crowded place. Heightened sense of anxiety as of late. Increased sense of unknown dread and fear. So that's why she was so scared of that change, because she had the local grocery store where less people went to, but then once it closed. Yeah. Pageants at six, yeah, that too. Man, what the hell? Looks like we have four more patients, four total patients. One, two, three, four. And then us. Pretty sure we'll find out that we're also a patient of ourselves, too. Desmond? Darling? Wha who said that? Why, I did, of course. Uh, how? Tanya? Y you can talk now? I mean, you could argue that I always could, and you just didn't care to listen. Look. Let's not waste any more time on how unbelievable this all may be and tackle the situation at hand. You are going to die, Desmond, if you do not get to the bottom of all this madness. Simply, you must keep a level head and find a way through this. I will help you as best as I possibly can. Now, concentrate. We might have some answers. I, I I don't know. This is weird. Patience, Desmond. Patience and grace. Patience. Uh, my patience. Don't you find it curious? You can enter Virginia's apartment, and she doesn't even live here. Something strange is happening. You would benefit from knowing what that is. It sounds like a plan. Explore the building. I'll be here. Wait, does this mean we can go back? Come back alive, please. Let's go. Alright, okay, let's go back into Virginia's house and see that one room. Apologies for the noise outside. There's some yard work going on out there. No, it doesn't take us to her home. It takes us to this. Mm. I guess we can go. Oh, oh man, so let's go back. Uh, same tapes. She was so upset about this, it hits different. Blah. Back to office. Yeah. Man. Ah. Ah. Flash bling. Lee. Hey, it's Tony. okay to take a break from time to time if you feel overwhelmed. Don't you have better things? 
things to do. Aww. All right, let's keep it moving. Aww. Right there, behind the ears. Oh, good. I get it, you like me. You can stop now. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Oh, no more? Oh, I can't bet. No more. <gasps> you know, Virginia used to sneak me cat treats when you weren't looking. Chat, the timer. On the clock. It was over here by 8. Now it's at 9. What happens... At midnight. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. <sighs> I wonder. We'll probably find out what happens. Oh, a little cat book. Can't read what it says though. I wonder what happens if we solve all the patients. This door doesn't seem to open. <sighs> Alright, chat. Don't let that flashlight run out of juice. Let's be honest, your eyes are not as good as mine. <sighs> yeah. Alright, chat. Well, I'm chill it's here okay to take a break from time to time if you feel overwhelmed. She said Desmond Darling. I'm pretty sure this is like the spirit of our wife in Tanya's body. Try trying to reach out to us. Trying to reach out to us while we are probably in a coma and dealing with like our internalized guilt at not being able to save the patients that we tried so hard to save. That mirror shard is surprisingly sturdy. Don't be afraid to use it. That's my theory right now. Cat wife? No, no, no. Our wife is human. She's just showing up in our psyche as the cat. As our cat. Coma, coma or a limbo. Yeah. Or one of those. I bet that mirror shard can be very useful. Is he saying something? No, you're still a cat in the mirror shard. Yeah. All right, chat. I think for Just now. Just because you can talk to a cat doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Aww. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm gonna grab some food, eat that delicious sandwich, and then I will see you all in about an hour for Dredge. Thank you for all for stopping by. Why she's so sassy? I don't know. House cats. But yeah. Anyways, everyone, please grab some food, grab some water, snacks, stretch your legs, wiggle around a bit, and I'll see you all uh, in about an hour or so. Oh no, <laughs> I can't believe you can hear my, my stomach growling. Alright, chat, thank you all for stopping by. This is uh, Virginia's chapter of In Sound Mind. We'll grab the rest of the chapters next on, uh, later on, but until then, Koyasumi, Koyasumi. here let me go and send you off on a raid to another boy who from tempest is currently streaming oh hello hello world Ooh, all right this looks really cool it looks really adorable we'll send you over to Fleon's channel he's currently playing hello hello world uh i don't know what it is but the art looks cute i'll see you all soon chan have a wonderful time at Fleon's channel
Uh, waiting room will go out soon. Love, oh, let me just eat food first and then I'll put the waiting room up. <laughs> Go ahead and see.